How eager are you to take this group overseas and bond? I am uh, I'm super eager because our season is going to be defined on how close we are. It's just it. This group is going to be, you know, we're, uh, you know, when you face um, situations we've already faced this summer. And, and you look great, by the way. You drive some LBs? Probably shouldn't say that. But you look great. Um, um, but, but, like, the capital we put in the bank in terms of us being together is super important because we know what we're up against. We know what we're going to face. We can't wait to get there into this season and everything it brings. And so uh, we're day seven of two-a-days right now. we got three more next week, and, and um, the guys are going together right now, and, and we'll, we'll make huge strides on this trip, and that's going to be our special sauce. It's just, you know, a lot of what we've become this season will be determined on how close we can become as a group right now, and these guys are, are making great strides doing it. Does what happened at the end of practice cause a roadblock in bringing the team close together? No, I actually think it. I think that's the stuff that bonds a team. Like, um, I love the competitive nature. I love it, and our guys love it. And when when they see, you know, it's hard to explain. Um, but but when you are competing so hard that you you kind of bear your soul with your teammates, um, if you manage it right, it 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 it's what it's actually what binds you together. So I love. The, the competitiveness at the beginning of practice. I love the competitiveness at the end of practice, and and um, it's you know I'm telling you it's 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 what's going to give us a chance this year. It really is it, how close we can become. Uh, the choice to go to Croatia was that. How much was the choice with coaches? Yeah, we're so excited. I don't know if you, if you guys got our itinerary yet, so you know we're going to um, his hometown. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. I'm forgetting the name. Zagreb. No, it's not Zagreb. It's uh, it's uh, Zadar. 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 Yes, and so uh, it's actually Kresmer Kosic Arena. We're playing KK Zadar in the arena. We're gonna go work the Kresmer Kosic basketball camp. Uh, we're having a meal with uh, his extended family. Um, uh, we're, we're, we're taking a bunch of gifts, uh, some memorabilia. Like it's super special. Um, and Kresper Kosic, in so many ways, is exactly the perfect example for our guys because what we're trying to do here is we're trying to be a great team. We want to we want to be the best in the country. That's where we're trying to go. And I want that to be like the third or fourth or fifth or sixth most incredible things these guys accomplished in their life. And you think about what Kresmer did here as a basketball player and then what he did as an ambassador to the whole world in an area of the world that was getting torn to pieces and he was one of the voices standing up trying to bring some some sense to what was incredibly senseless like i'm so excited for our guys to learn more about him on this trip and kind of capture that vision of the impact that they can have on the world too because that's why we're here that's why we're here we're here to win we're here to win huge and then we're here even more importantly to grow incredible incredible young men that are changing the world and i got a bunch of guys on this roster that are are far along in the process of changing the world so it's pretty cool uh man uh we've had a lot of guys make big jumps in a lot of different ways um you know jackson robinson i've been really pleased with um he has found a sense of himself um, he's become a positive force on this team uh, that just kind of gets tougher and tougher through adversity. That's been a huge jump for him. Uh, Dallin Hall, of course, has you know, walked in here day one and had a leadership role and has continued to grow that leadership role. Uh, I've been really, really proud of him. Uh, Spencer Johnson um, you know, it just shows up in even more areas than he's been showing up before. Uh, I think Atiki has had a great summer. Uh, I mean, all of our guys, you kind of go down the list. I thought Noel was terrific today. Um, you know, he's still trying to learn, like, what part of the game he wants to – he needs to he needs to avoid to keep himself out of trouble. But he's, he's, been, he's been terrific in terms of competitive spirit. Um, uh, it seems like everybody's making huge jumps. Trev has been uh, exactly what we need from him on the offensive end, being a sniper, and he's he's, he's really elevated his defensive play. So we're getting contributions from everybody, and that's what we need. We have to have it. I'm curious, what happened last week with Glover, and were you surprised by it? 
Um, yeah, we, we jump right into the minefield, guys. Uh, I was um, super sad about it. I think is probably the the best the best answer for me. Um, he's a, a beautiful young man, uh, a, 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 a perfect fit for BYU, an um, enormously talented player with a ton of miles, and and um, so we're we're you know we're really sad to lose him for sure. Yeah, it was all NIL. It was 100% NIL. What's the strategy going forward? I think you have a couple of scholarships now still. Yeah, so um, I like my group. Um, we are still, and it's really late also, um, we're still paying attention to everything that's going on, and we're, we're, we're still having a lot of conversations. Um, so it's going to have to be somebody that's special, either somebody with a really special upside that maybe is a two- or three-year upside that's really special or um, somebody that's maybe a one-year guy that will come in and kind of give us some, some physicality on the front line, which we're still, you know, especially with Ali, you know, us slowly on-ramping him or a ways away from or, you know, give us, you know, we lost a, a huge piece in Quez, um, and so... Um, or maybe, you know, give us some more ball handling security. That's probably the two spaces where we're keeping our eyes open the most. But um, it's got to be the right fit. It's just, like I said, the, the, our whole season is going to rely on how close we can grow together and how well we fit together. And so, it ha- you know, we can't just go grab anybody. That doesn't work here at BYU, and it's not what we're about. I don't want to keep harping on it, but when you said it was all NFL related, was that a problem on the collective and, and aging? Like, can you expound on that at all, of what the issue was? Um, yeah, so that's where things get really complicated. Um, uh, so it was just, it was, it was a very simple NIL issue. Um, you know, my job, um, so my job, what the rules allow is the rules allow me to, um, fundraise on behalf of, uh, NIL entity, uh, they allow the rules allow me to co- collect uh, connect current student athletes with um, NIL entities, um, and and they actually allow me to provide space for them to meet. Right, um, I can't do any of that with prospective student athletes, but I can do it with with current student athletes, um, and I got to do a better job right now. Uh, you know, we're, it's probably, I don't know, guys, 35, 40% of my day is trying to, um, trying to win over the hearts and minds of, um, anybody that will listen in terms of helping us, helping us with this collective. And, uh, Tom and Brian have done an um, unbelievable job, like, uh, giving us guidance on that. And, and, uh, I'm, I'm not getting the job done in terms of, um, rallying the troops and it's my job and so i'm taking it really seriously and i'll probably elevate the amount of time i'm spending on it um, because it is a defining feature of college basketball right now it's the new challenge that we're facing and and it's my job and so i got to do a better job so you know you want to point the finger at you know why quez glover is not here it's on me because i just i didn't get the job done and 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 the job that i can that's the job i need to do Dave Rose is going into the Hall of Fame yes. next month. What does that mean to you? What's he meant to you? Um, coaches, there's nobody that's ever done it better uh, in so many different ways, and there probably will be nobody that does it better. Uh, you know, Coach, uh, you know, not only galvanized um, the BYU fan base with, with some incredible teams and incredible runs and and, and, and – um, and some of the greatest players to ever don a BYU jersey, but he also did it with class and kindness and humility. Um, uh, he had a, a really beautiful understanding of what BYU was and, and what it could be. Um, he's a, on a personal level. He's um, he's been in, just uh, there's no words for for the gratitude I have for him for the mentor that he's been to me, and I think all of Cougar Nation will be grateful to him forever. Uh, you know this building we're standing in and I've said this a bunch of times like you know the 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 fact that he got this building built here at BYU the way he did uh, none of us can probably comprehend how how challenging that is and um, it's one of uh, a million different little pieces of the legacy he left here but you know um, and I say this um, with 
with the utmost respect for what coach accomplished as a coach. He's a better person than he is a coach, and, and that's hard to do when you're as good a coach as he was. And so uh, it's incredibly appropriate that he's honored this way. I know uh, that everybody in the state of Utah and around the country and the coaching communi- community and Cougar Nation uh, is excited for this day, and it's well-deserved. Your thoughts on, your thoughts on the four corner schools coming to the Big 12? I'm so excited. Uh, you know, uh, it, it makes this conference uh, – um, so stable, um, which is I think that's what you're really searching for uh, in these in these in this conference realignment is stability, and um, I love the fact that uh, you know we have this little region like that we do have this this exactly what it is kind of the corner of the conference, um, you know I'm I'm you know this this rivalry with Utah is so fantastic it's. You know, outdated all of us. It was existing before all of us were here, and it's going to exist long after we're all gone. And those are part of the things that make sports special. And the, and the fact that uh, you know a lot of people are like torn up about it, and a lot of people are celebrating is exactly why we should have be in the same conference. And um, I'm really excited to have Arizona in this conference. Uh, you know, that's been an incredible program for a long time. They were the uh, you know they've been the standard bearer of the of the Pac-12 for a long time, and now to have them in the Big 12 is super exciting. And you know to be at uh, you know at this number of teams and this teams that actually fit like um, the teams in this conference uh, for the most part they really really fit this conference. Uh, it's the best basketball conference in the country by miles right now, and um, that's super exciting for us. Yeah, you know, um, Brett told us, uh, you know, he, he had a good sense. I think, you know, I don't think I'm saying anything that's not been said publicly, but he had a good sense of Colorado. And then the other two schools were kind of uh, touch and go. There were some con- contingency plans that I was personally, selfishly super excited about. Um, but the way it worked out is exactly the way it should. And, and um, it's going to be awesome, guys. Like, it's awesome for you guys. Uh, and it's certainly awesome for us. And, and uh, I, I can't, I'm telling you, this, this Big 12 conference is, I don't know if there's ever been anything like it. Maybe the first couple years of the ACC when, when they expanded. Uh, but but this, this deal, you know, the ACC never had the football presence that the Big 12 has. And, and, um, and what's happening here in basketball is incredible. Like, uh, and, and Brett Yormark and his team, uh, I can't think of a better group to lead this league I mean he is pushing the envelope in every single way about trying to grow you know just just little things like the the event we did at Rucker Park where he's trying to reach out and kind of have a presence in every single media market Mexico City and spreading it you know uh, it's 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 going to be awesome so we're in the right place it's the right time this is an opportunity that we've never had before as a BYU athletic department and it's here now guys and so let's go do you like UConn to come to Washington? Yeah, so you guys are going to be in big trouble right now. I'm really excited about this conference. It's, it's like it couldn't be any better than it is right now. Thank you, guys. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Okay.